Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we're doing a reading for Pisces. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, let's start with your sun sign here. How you feel about yourself. All right, stillness. So there may be some time that you need to take to just be still and be in your thoughts I'm feeling here. Yes, there is a community here. So perhaps you are not getting enough you time to really think things through. Maybe there's too many people in and around your energy here. It looks like there might be some transformation here with all these butterflies. I'm seeing the rainbow as well. So perhaps you are realizing something about yourself here. That's on the bottom of the deck. We have adventures. Oh! I like this for you Pisces so there is some type of adventure you will be going on it looks like let us get a tarot card for you aha you need to be patient there might be some healing that you're doing as well here ah there might be patience because hmm there's something going on here, some shady ass behavior. Now, whether that's your behavior or somebody outside of yourself, perhaps this is how you're feeling about yourself, that <clears throat> maybe your behavior needs to heal. Something to do with being shady, perhaps through realizing things about yourself. Um, I'm almost feeling like you know that is something is you're doing or there may be somebody that's doing this to you let me just get one more here to confirm okay you may be watching somebody glow up here becoming a star you may have bad thoughts about this person or some jealousy here or they have this about you this could be you doing this okay you may be the one that has the platform and somebody is jealous about you here or you're feeling that jealousy perhaps you're glowing up you've been patient maybe it's your turn this community may be jealous there's some adventure you're meant to go on here Pisces what is going on in your energy here let us look at your emotions your moon sign here this is how you feel how are you feeling within your heart here let's see this one wants to come have faith in your dreams waxing crescent moon nice okay maybe that was the moon you were born on you can always do um your moon reading as well sometimes your moon reading you may be more um, I'm feeling uh, that you you resonate more with your moon reading like I would definitely get a reading done on your astrology your um, birth chart but there's also moon readings you can get done on what phase of the moon you were born on and in that information I felt I resonated far more with my moon sign than I did with my sun sign or my birth chart. So you may find that your moon sign may tell you a lot about who you are because this is all about your emotions and how you feel, right? And um, you are very close to achieving your goals here. So we have Gibson moon here. So perhaps you are born on a Gibson moon or between these two to here you're gonna have to go and have a look but I really like this for you because getting that moon sign is sometimes really um, helps you define who you are or help you recognize who you might be hold your vision so you may have some type of fin um, vision that you have for yourself here you have fixed moon here so any of these could be part of your chart for your moon sign um, for what phase of the moon you were born in so let's get whatever vision you have for yourself stay true to yourself have the faith that you're going to achieve this dream yeah you may have had been through a lot of heartache or heartbreak or you are feeling this right now some type of betrayal uh, let's see yeah feeling left out in the cold perhaps somebody left you and maybe doing well 
they may be doing well or this could be someone else is watching you do well okay maybe they are upset about how they may have done you okay maybe they did you wrong and you are rising up take a, however it's resonating for you you know deep inside whether you're jealous of someone else or that someone's jealous of you so take it however it's resonating for you you know in your heart that either you did wrong and you have the right to be left out in the cold or someone else has done you wrong and they have every right to be left out in the cold while you glow up okay so take however it resonates for you let's look at your rising sign here this one wants to come and it says the seer wow visionary i chart the stars signs and symbols to craft magic so you may have visions or prophecy you might be um a prophet here or your person is your person may see through you and maybe you don't like that um they may see uh things in your heart that you yourself know are there maybe you don't like that this person can see through you or this is you seeing through this other person take it however it resonates for you and it says here the winged messenger creation spirits spiritual direction inspires my creative flow so by listening to whatever visions you are seeing or whatever messages you are getting from this winged messenger you are meant to listen to whatever messages are coming in for you now the jade star surrender i am ready to let go with self-compassion perhaps you're being too hard on yourself and needing to be more compassionate to what you are telling yourself within perhaps you're feeling less than or somebody has made you feel less than or perhaps you've made someone else feel less than take it however it resonates for you and remember this is a general reading right okay so there are blessings coming in there is a, a love loss here if this is you you've lost somebody that you truly loved that was a blessing for you or this is your blessing that's coming in for you okay and somebody has lost you and you were the blessing for them take it however that resonates for you yeah somebody feels like they missed out on an opportunity with you or you feel you have missed out with them okay so let us look at the jupiter your luck here what is your luck saying here what's coming in for pisces let's see okay angel of love now i feel like this may be you if you are the angel of love or this could have been your person that truly loved you for who you were regardless of your bad traits or wanted to have this idea that this was a, a great love perhaps you didn't treat this person right and they were all about loving you it could be vice versa so take it how it resonates for you let's get another card yeah this may be hitting their financial constraints they may be having financial difficulty or you may be because of what was done here we have the number four here and we have the number four again so four four this is all about structure stability and manifestations somebody's getting their manifestations brought in this may be an indecision on your part. This is about mastery, action, and resolution. Perhaps you're not taking the action that you're meant to be taking. Maybe there's a fork in the road and you're not sure which way to go. Maybe you have to give somebody up to get this person, or they have to give somebody up to have you. Take it how it resonates. Let's have a look at the tarot. Yes, this is about having that fulfillment this is 10 of pentacles this is family legacy family wealth this is family this is all about having structure stability and financial and material success okay this is all about that love um i feel like this is somebody that may even get some major inheritance here this is about yeah generational wealth gained through emotional harmony okay this may be affluence so 
wow this is unbelievable so this is your luck here but that was in the reverse so you may not be seeing a certain perspective you're meant to be seeing or this person isn't wow okay let's look at the bottom of the deck yet yeah, you may be the king of pentacles here but you're showing up in the negative so you may have some work and healing to do here as the temperance and the star because they're both signs of healing okay maybe your person has healed and you are still doing the healing um but either way this is somebody that is wealth has the smarts this is all about security this person is all security this is a provider this is somebody with ambition with the power and discipline here of getting that abundance so let's look at your love here or your relationships your palace here what about your palace here what's with the palace your relationship okay this is about getting to know each other and i feel i want to say again perhaps this is somebody from your past let's get another card you need to love yourself first this is all about self-love here and you're worth you you may not feel like you're worth enough for this person perhaps you did too much um to this person or they just did too much to you and this may be that there's no self-love here and let's see yeah this is a true love yeah this is somebody that <laughs> is a love of a lifetime here and perhaps you're both meant to be together for a very long time and maybe yeah there was unrequited love on some part here that shady ass behavior so somebody did too much here somebody felt that this was imbalanced when it came to this love somebody had a true love here that they squandered they may have taken advantage of this person and felt they may have felt that there was unrequited love here oh this was your empress holy shit this was somebody you were meant to honor love and obey i feel like this was somebody that you took your wedding vows with this is your empress this is your person oh no perhaps there was unrequited love on their part or yours take it how it resonates this is somebody that maybe is yeah had a broken heart and they've already recovered from it they've already it came out in the reverse so i am going to say you did break this person's heart or they broke yours take it how it resonates maybe you are the are the empress so i mean if this is what happened to you then take it that way if it's if it's you that did this to this person then take it that way i mean take it however it resonates for you right let's get one more card here yeah <laughs> all right this is the page of wands so <clears throat> this was somebody that was enthusiastic that had fresh ideas had new opportunities was very inspirational and they act on chance they were very positive here and you may have held them back because you felt more entitled or because you're a man or maybe you were growing up in that aspect that women are less than or something along those lines and i feel like that um you're realizing that that was a mistake wow okay let's move on to your venus your love here let's find out what your how you love what happened here yeah you may have been running around um listening to your ego and perhaps you were running to other people uh, it could be that or they did this to you take it how it resonates yeah the cassette this is outdated thinking this is conditioning from your parents about how you should be looking at things um you're replaying these events over in your head and i feel like you're coming up with your truth here on just how wrong these ideas were about this person heart with a key this may be have been somebody that had the key to your heart 
welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together, perfect. This is a perfect love. This was your person, and I feel like you are realizing that now, Pisces. Um, perhaps you always knew all along, but let your ego get the better of you. Perhaps this other person did. Yeah, maybe you are going to text somebody. You want to express your love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. This is a love call. Somebody wants to let you know that they love you. Now, whether this is you with them, them with you, take it how it resonates. Yeah. <laughs> somebody walked away from this love because of this unrequited part here. Now, whether that was your empress walking away from you or you um, having to walk away from this person, this is who, however this resonates for you. Yeah, there was some cheating here. There was juggling here. There was some infidelity here. Hmm. Yikes, whether that was you doing it or them doing it, take it how it resonates. Let's look at your wealth here, your fortune. Let's do this one first here. Okay, so you may be wanting to retire here. And whatever it is, you want to support somebody here or you are going to get supported in your retirement. Take it however it resonates for you. Maybe I'm talking to somebody that's a little older. Body changes. Perhaps your body has changed and so is your person's. Take it how it resonates or you're looking at doing so. And you may even volunteer on some aspect here for your person. You may help them out with something. Yeah, this is a <laughs> this is a, a blessing. This is a new passionate beginning here. This is awesome. This may be a birth of a new business. This may be new creativity. Um, this may impact your family. This is progression. You're progressing towards something. You're taking the initiative when it comes to something here. <laughs> there may have been an ending here or when you go in for this person, they may renew this or they may have walked away from this altogether. So you're going to have to go and find out to find out which part this is. If this is the route you really want to go, you need to know if it is completely ended or if it is going to be renewed. Now, this is going to be however it resonates for you and how much you want this. Let's see. This is a Ten of Pentacles here. So, and you have indecision. So you have not decided just yet, but you're going to need to have some different perspective here see what your influences are. Somebody's trying to mend something here with you or you are trying to mend it with this empress. Let's see. There's a higher power here. This is a divine union. This is something that was meant to happen, faded. Now, some lessons did not get learned here. Somebody had to walk away. Something was unrequited here and somebody knows it. Somebody knows what their behavior was like and they know they may not deserve this person any longer. But Spirit's saying there's a higher power trying to guide something here something to the sea. So you may need taking time to realize something, reflect on something. This is number seven, reflecting, assessing, getting that knowledge. Let's see. Yeah. All that glitters is not gold. And I feel like this may be somebody you are with right now, or this is somebody that is trying to act like they are gold where they are not. They are not this empress here. This is whoever this is. This is an outside influencing towards you. Whether you understand this or not, there is somebody that wants to mend something with you or you want to mend it with your person. Um, you may need to walk away from somebody, go to the sea to go to what you truly heart's desire is. And you may be thinking that this person you are with is the person, but I am here to tell you they are not. They are all that glitters is not gold. You need to co-create with the person that is here with the higher power. Spirit's going to kind of guide you or your spirit guides are, um, ancestor spirit guides are going to tell you who you are meant to be with here. Let's get, oh, 
Yeah, let's get a tarot card here just to see and clarify here. Yes, higher power. This is spirituality. This may be connecting with spirit or God or whoever you believe in that is spirit, that higher source of power, okay? This is the Hierophant. This is about marriage. So this may be somebody you were married to. This could be all about tradition. Maybe you're very traditional. Um, there's some outdating thinking about something here. Yes, you're wanting to fight for this, okay? With this Knight of um, Swords. And this is something you may be getting guided to fight for, okay? Let's look at your mid Midheaven here. This is your career. What is Spirit saying about your career for Pisces? What is Pisces' career here? Travel. This may be something that you're doing. Um, your life purpose uh, involves traveling. Perhaps you will be traveling um, as a new career here. Talk to your angels. So this is that guidance I'm feeling about something that's already in your energy or influencing you that is acting like that they are your person and they are not. Um, instead of worrying, ask for divine guidance is what is being said here or your message from um, angels here to tell you that you need to talk to your angels. Yeah, take the time to decide. There is that indecision here and making the decision based on your heart's true desires. I think I already said that. So that's funny that that came up. That's just more confirmation that what I'm saying is true. Let's see, yeah, taking that leap of faith. Now, this may be something that you end up having with this person if they decide to take you back, but you're not going to know unless you go and find out. It's either to take that blessing and that they take you back or they end it, and that's going to be their choice. So let's see here, taking, yeah, here is the emperor and the empress, wow. So taking that leap of faith, emperor, perhaps I am talking to a masculine, I could be talking to a feminine. This, this masculine could be in the feminine side, or they could be the feminine. So take it however it resonates for you. Okay, so it's just energy. It doesn't mean a gender. And coming up as the emperor might be taking charge of your story or your manifesting or your life, taking charge and taking a leap of faith into something new when it comes to a career. Let's see what your angels answer. No, this is your family roots. This is your ancestors and family. This is who has passed over loved ones here that want to tell you a certain something here. What do they want to tell you? Aha, radiance. I feel like you know um, whoever this person is that you are going towards or you are the person that is radiant. One or the other, take it how it resonates for you. And we have activation. So in order to activate what's going to come in for you, you have to take that action, okay? And sanctuary, taking the time, going into the man cave. If you were the man, if you were the woman, you were going to take the woman cave and take that time to really think about what you are looking at or wanting in your life and reflecting on whatever this is that happened in the winter time here. Perhaps you got a message from this person um, and you're reflecting on that. Perhaps that person was really against coming together. Maybe you tried then, or you are looking at signs from them of whether or not it would happen. And there are some major strong boundaries coming up here. And whether this is for you or them, your person could have strong boundaries and you may be reflecting back around Christmas time, whenever the uh, winter time solstice is, was December 21st and after. So this may be something that you witnessed in Christmas time. Let's see, yeah, about perhaps wanting to bring in that love offer and perhaps you had been um, welcomed with a lot of boundaries here of like 
good luck with that or something along those lines perhaps there needs to be a friendship first where it blossoms into something else or perhaps you felt shut out by this person because of their boundaries but however the case is you will move forward and possibly even give them a cup eventually you may have children with this person um it's funny because when i did a theme earlier um it came out then and this is a maybe your baby mama or baby father this could be somebody that you're meant to have children with uh take it however it resonates for you whether you were had children with them or not that's or you're meant to have children with them that what however that resonates for you yeah this i might be talking to a main female or this is about a main female here and a union with the number two yeah this may have something to do with their occupation perhaps they are a star perhaps this feminine is uh glowing up here and you are a little jealous about this and you're trying to heal stuff between the two of you or you're healing yourself. You may have done this person dirty here, this feminine, and if you are this feminine, somebody else did this to you. You may not be open to this person, but this person may be a wealthy man. Um, not that that matters because I feel like whoever you are, money isn't your biggest concern. This may be a masculine I'm talking to, and just know you cannot buy this person, okay? This feminine, that will not be a factor for them. Yeah, this person is a sweetheart. They are emotionally connected. They're intuitive, compassionate, loving, sensitive, and very tender-hearted. They are a sweet, sweet person, okay? Whether it's this wealthy man or this mean female, I feel like it's this main female. There may even be, oh, you know what I'm seeing here. You may be with somebody else already. You may be a masculine that is with a main female and there is the sweetheart that you may have had children with or this is a sweetheart that you're with now. But whoever you're meant to be with here, spirit's going to guide you. And I feel like whoever you did dirty here, is the person you're meant to be and they're very sweet and tender-hearted you've been hanging on to this person even though you've been with someone else spirit says and you may need to be single if you want to come towards this sweet person they are not going to take you back if you are with somebody else and i don't know why i said take you back this could be somebody that is new to you okay um but with the shady ass behavior, I, I feel like it's somebody you already know, okay? So let's look and see what Spirit has for a message for you. For Pisces, thank you. Moon cycles. So I talked about the moon cycles. Um, you may resonate more with your moon sign versus your sun sign. So maybe look at what your moon cycle was when you were born. I know what mine was and it was me to a T. Okay, so let's see what this says. Archangel Hanel uh, says, notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. So maybe manifesting in the moon cycles is very important um, with the new moon and the full moon. Perhaps those are the times to really manifest what you're looking for. Now, compassion. You may need to be more compassionate with yourself or with this person. Archangel Zadkiel. Zeal, oh hell, Zadkiel, I'm going to say Zadkiel, um, soften your heart with respect for this situation and all the people involved, including yourself. I, I think I just said that. So <laughs> spirits really reiter re reiterating what I'm telling you. And then you are safe, okay? So Archangel Michael says, I am protecting your you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, 
and home. So you do not have to worry about you or your family. So be compassionate towards yourself. And then we have passion. I feel like whoever this person you were with that you want maybe to get back with or that has ended out with, there is a lot of passion here. Archangel Hanel, trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. Now, whether that's with somebody new or with whoever this is that maybe did you dirty or you did them dirty, take it how it resonates. Let's see, oh wow. This is a major love connection here. We have the Two of Cups. This is unity, this is partnership, this is attraction, a connection, a very close bond here that you either once had with this person or you want to have again with this person. But there's somebody in the way here. Who are you going to invest in when it comes to love? You may um, have somebody that is guarded towards you they may have strong, strong boundaries and may not want to take you back. They may want to be friends and maybe something else comes of this after a while, but you are really going to have to be patient and really um, do the work within yourself and to this person, I feel if you did this person wrong, it may be vice versa. So take however that resonates. Yeah. This person may be the star here, maybe started a business. Maybe you are going to help them with their business. Yeah, look at that. The King of Pentacles, Queen and King of Pentacles here. Wow, this is a divine union here. This is a very fruitful, especially with this Ten of Pentacles coming in here. Wow, it's both these people in this, in these cards here. Wow. So Pisces, there is something going on here that was meant to happen. Whether uh, this person remains cold towards you, I feel like you're going to warm them up eventually, but you may have to speak some truth here about what happened, whether it was you or them. There's some type of speaking some type of truth. And like I said to you already, in order to go towards this um, empress if you are the emperor or if you are the empress meaning to come to the, your emperor there is a need to be single without anyone else in your energy because this person is going to see right through you they are going to know whether you are with somebody or not and breaking all ties with whoever you are with to become single first before you come forward because this person won't even look your way if you were someone else and they may be you may be wanting to know if they're going to take you back before you get rid of somebody and this person that is just going to put them off okay just know that ahead of time so you are going to have to do the right thing here and do the work if you, this is what you're looking for in a person if this is the past person you were looking at being with okay and it's going to be their choice of whether they take you back or not i feel like this feminine um and, and i do feel like it is a feminine is already working on the legacy whether they choose to bring you in for it or not is going to be up to them but i feel like this is going to be something that they are going to be doing with or without you it's going to be up to you to decide whether you want this person with you or not if that's the way it is for you or they're going to decide whether they want you with them okay so take a however it resonates for you and I really like this for you and I'm hoping this all works out for you Pisces there is great potential here um, but there may be a lot of work that needs to be done here and this may take a little while for this to come forward or for this to happen, but there needs to be um, a single, being single here in order to come forward for this person. I feel like you know what this person is all about. They do not cheat. They do not do any of those things. I feel like they're very spiritual even, especially with the star coming up and the temperance card and the empress card all coming up um, 
within this spread. I, I really do feel like there's blessings here for you that you feel you are missing out on right now that you're meant to have, but there is something going on here that needs to be said. There's something here that needs to be gone over and you're gonna to have to decide whether you're going to take this person back or they're going to decide whether they're going to take you back. So, wow. Anyways, I love you all. Take care. Stay blessed. And if you want to donate, you can go down to the description box, click it, and it will follow down to um, a PayPal um link that you can click on that will take you to the paypal account or you can do your super thanks i appreciate each and every one of you even if you're just watching the videos that certainly does help for the channel and i appreciate everybody donating I, it really does help the channel and i appreciate that so so much Okay, guys, I hope this resonates with somebody. It may not be for everyone. Keep in mind it is a general reading. Okay, guys, take care. See you next time. Later.